Hey everybody, welcome to Paul Mash TV, bringing you the very best in the country from all over the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen, he is Paul! Hello everybody and welcome back to Paul Mash TV. And uh, we're glad that you could join us yet again uh, for another episode. And uh, as always, I just want to remind everybody that if you'd like to subscribe to us on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, there's a little subscribe button right down there. Just hit that and you'll get the latest episodes anytime, uh, you know, uh, we have a new one. So you'll, uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy that. And obviously, if you're on Facebook, uh, come like my page at uh, uh, facebook.com forward slash palmash TV. And um, also, you can email us at, as well at uh, capital P, then MASH TV, all one word, at gmail.com. And we'd love to hear from you. And, you. and you'll see all that again at the closing credits, just like uh, every episode. So stick around for that. If you remember about uh, a month ago, we had a gentleman on here named Andrew Saltz from Salty Dog. And... Um, He's back with us now. Uh, he's going to update us on what's been going on with him lately. And uh, I'm sure that you're going to enjoy this uh, new interview with him. And he's got a new song, obviously. So without further ado, let's welcome back Andrew Saltz right here on Paul Nash TV. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to another interview. And this time for a second time, we have Andrew Saltz from uh, Salty Dog. Thanks for joining us, Andrew. <laughs> hey, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, it's good to have you back on the show. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what you've been doing since we were last on? Uh, well, uh, our, our shows have uh, kind of slowly um, just, uh, I guess, slowed down. Um, we, we have fewer shows now, but uh, mm -hmm. um, a lot of uh, smaller shows. We have about a, well, the band, we have a, a, a duo that we do on the side. Um, same music and all, uh, but it's just the two of us instead of the full band. And uh, we play, you know, about every weekend. So uh, we've been doing that about uh, twice as much now that our, our bigger shows have kind of slowed down due to, you know, the summer ending. But uh, yeah, man, just been uh, super busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And speaking of which, I think you uh, mentioned, um, and this was after the interview ended, uh, ended last time, you were talking about you did, you wish you had more time to talk about the band. Uh, did you want to talk a little bit about the band as well? Uh, well, uh, yeah, with uh, with the band, I mean, we uh, we do we're located out of Hickory, uh, out of uh, the Hickory Charlotte area. Um, we do alternative roots rock, um, different uh, styles of rock. Uh, but yeah, man, we we go any anything like I said from a from a duo, just the two of us to a, a seven. To eight piece band so it's uh it's pretty big but uh uh yeah we're just kind of i think i told you this earlier we're, we're kind of um refocusing ourselves i guess we're reinventing ourselves because i started the band um very much uh well the band started almost as like a uh band that really tried to bring a lot of awareness to Native American treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Native American. And uh, so I guess through just playing at all the bars and the clubs and everything, it's, it's kind of gotten really uh, to the point where we've almost become like a, a cover band. And we're more of a, an original band. So it's kind of been hard for the band uh, lately to try to really just be able to say, well, that's not really who we are. And so we're trying to just uh, refocus ourselves and kind of reinvent um, the act and really, you know, bring out those Native American vibes. Uh, you know, just uh, trying to practice up, I guess. We've been practicing and uh, we're going to have a couple more practices, but um, yeah, we're just trying to get everything back into uh, the way it used to be before we really started getting some of these larger shows, um, which it's kind of been a double-edged sword because like, you know, we have really big shows but um some of the smaller shows are really wanting more of almost just like a bar band so it's kind of it's kind of like well that's not really what we are you know <laughs> but uh i don't know man it's just kind of been 
a really hard uh, process about the last month. But we, um, like I said the last time, we got our, our new album coming out. And uh, we're going to be doing um, some new music. We're going to have a new promo. Uh, a lot of a lot of cool stuff coming up. So uh, it's just a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I know she. I know she said at the beginning of the thing. You said that some of your concerts are kind of slowing down. Are there any kind of concerts you want to let your fans know about where you're coming up next? Yeah, man. Uh, so we're we're gonna try to definitely do like a Halloween bash. So if you're somebody watching. Uh, that's one of our fans uh, here locally. We're definitely going to try to do a Halloween bash again. We did one last year. Mm -hmm. and it, was a, it was a huge success. We had a couple hundred people come out. So it was definitely a, a really good uh, night for us. Um, last year was in Charlotte. I don't know. Like I said, uh, I don't really know where it's going to be this year yet. But uh, we got um, any of our fans watching that are in uh, Morganton, Morganton, North Carolina, which mm -hmm. is about 20 minutes from Hickory. Uh, we're going to be doing um, our big fall show. We're kind of kicking off the fall season um, October 6th with uh, uh, Morganton. We'll be in Morganton. Um, we'll be doing a lot of stuff actually in Taylorsville. Um, it's a town right outside of uh, Catawba up here mm -hmm. in North Carolina. And uh, there'll be um, there will be a lot of shows um, with them coming up here in the next uh, two months or so. We're just kind of really, I guess, in a way hitting Taylorsville really hard because the radio stations really like our music. And uh, um, we're gonna be up at the Country Club and some other places there locally. Uh, there's a, another venue that we're doing um, actually on Wednesday, um, big one that everybody's promoting down here. Uh, it's a actual, it's a, it's a Christian ice cream shop and uh, she's very much open to uh, um, uh, performing arts and Christian arts and uh, just cultural, you know, music. Um, so it's really cool. Um, but we're going to be doing a show down there um, Wednesday um, for anybody in the area uh, who wants to come out. But uh, they're actually teaming up with Chick-fil-A. Um, Teeble Scoops is the name. It's a it's an ice cream shop. So they're teaming up with Chick-fil-A. So we got a lot of big uh, supporters in this. Um, I know we're sponsored by some some folks, and they're helping out some uh, uh, events coming up um, as well. So, yeah, just a lot of a lot of things going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now I know you got a new song for us. Uh, it's called "It's You." Uh, is there a story behind that? Maybe you can share that with us. Oh man, yeah. Uh, gosh, it's actually we. I, well, I wrote the song with my drummer um, mm -hmm. and some other folks um, in the group about two to eh, two to three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say that's correct. It's it, my my memory is pretty bad, <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, yeah, man, it, it was like a it was a while back. But we we wrote it, but we never really did anything with it, and then we. Uh, you know, of course, went into the studio last year and uh, did all the other music as well that you hear. Um, but we did that song and um, there's really a lot of people seem to enjoy it because it's one of our only love songs that we've written. Mm -hmm. um, but there's no story behind it. Everybody asks me like, you know, who that's about or whatever. But um, it's just kind of a, uh, you know, a song that we wrote pretty quickly actually i mean it was uh, probably less than 30 minutes we wrote it oh uh, it's a very um uh quick song uh, that came to us uh, but yeah i mean we uh we wrote it and we recorded it and we had the full band on it and um of course then i came back here i do a lot of overdubbing um, um or vice versa and so we we came to the house and we recorded it um again and then we released it, um, and yeah, a, a lot of radio stations seem to enjoy it, so uh, it's a pretty cool song. I mean, it's one of, uh, like I said, uh, a lot of people's favorites, so. Okay, yeah, I was listening to it for a few minutes there, and I agree, it is a pretty good song. Thank and, you, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, and well, well, of course, we'll play that in a couple minutes here, but I just want to let you know that I think that's about all the time we have for right now, anyway, and 
Okay. We appreciate you coming back again, and we'd love to have you back a third time if you ever have anything new. So just look me up, and maybe we'll have you on again. Yeah, man. Of course. Okay. And now let's watch It's You from Andrew Assaults right here on Paul Mash TV. Don't go away. Hurt. But lately, I've been in some saving that I just can't seem to find a girl. Give me more than just words. I've been out of for so long, I don't know what's right or wrong. But you came into my life, you made everything so Oh, <laughs> 
Thank you.